everybody, I'm Joe Kellinger. Uh, I'm a real estate investor and entrepreneur. And we put these videos together every week to give you all the tips and insights from my experience over the last several years. So uh, make sure you tune in and subscribe. And uh, thank you. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. Um, retail, we're at that time of the year. Holidays are here. Um, retail is a hot topic. Uh, so I took the weekend and, and really talked to a lot of brokers around the country to talk to them about what they were seeing in retail, giving me ideas of how we could help you get your build your space leased. And um, it's it's not going to be easy. But they gave me some good ideas. And so if you like what you hear today, please do give us a, a like. And if you haven't done so yet, please give us a subscribe as well. Love to see you every week. Um, all right, retail. According to the real deal, 89% of the retailers paid their rent in October. So that's doing pretty well. That's a nice increase. But if you break that down, 89% does sound great. But that is on the number of tenants that are currently in place. There's a lot of space available around the country right now. So how are you going to fill that space up? I know ideally you want a long-term tenant, five years, 10 years, that are paying their, their rent every month. Um, it's kind of hard to do right now. There's so much space available. You've got to be the, you're kind of the David against the Goliath. So. Um, when you're acquiring your property, as we've done a previous video, make sure you're looking at all the all the top of the hot points. Um, great walk score, great traffic count. There's something for them to go do in the area: colleges, um, high schools, grocery stores. Make sure there's something that's driving that traffic to the area. That's really going to help. But what are you going to do beside that? You have to get aggressive now. Number one, if you're not hiring a broker that's going to put it out there, then you yourself need to get on the phones. Even if you do list it, I would recommend you getting on the phones and really get and talking to everybody about your space and why it's special and what you're willing to do to get this space leased out. If you do lease it with a broker, have a weekly meeting with them and really get an understanding of what they're doing. If they're just putting it in CoStar or LoopNet and letting it sit, that does you no good. You've got to have them get on the phones, call everybody. Now, other things that you can do. Um, now, if you're willing to put some risk out there, then you know there's a lot of retail startups that are happening right now that I think you're going to see really expand over the next few years. So maybe you get hold of some venture capitalists that are funding these retail, and you talk to them about, hey, listen, I would be willing to give you a discount in rent, um, but, and then we'll ramp it up over the years. You know, that's something that you can do. Actually, you can do that with any retailer. You know, you, you can reach out to anybody and say, listen, I'm willing to take a chance on you. Let's do this. I'll do less rent, maybe a percentage of the profits. Um, you just, you've got to get very entrepreneurial right now. Now, call your chamber of commerce. Call your city council member. How can they help you? What tenants do they know that are coming into that community? You need to know that. And then once you find that out, you want to go reach out to them and say, hey, listen, I'm willing to work with you on this. Um, being that we're going into the holidays, pop-up retailers are starting to come around pretty heavy. Um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, people are going to want to go. It's all seasonal, right? So they're going to want to come in, have a location. At least it's driving some short-term revenue to you. So reach out to people and ask them, you know, are you going to do a Christmas tree lot if you have a parking lot that they can use? Um, you know, get on those phones. Um, also, big brands do launches. Why not have a pop-up in your location? You know, it, again, it's just you've got to reach out to these locations. Say, listen, are you guys going to do a pop-up in my community? If so, I'd like to talk to you about using my property. Um, you, you can, if you really, uh, you know, let's go back to parking lot. You know, since I brought up about the trees, you know, they're around. I'm in Los Angeles right now, so I'm seeing on the weekends. And you probably can't do this if you're in the Midwest or in the East, but you know, you're know you seeing that they're using their parking lots for gyms. They fenced it in and people are working out in those locations. So that's something you can do. But maybe you can reach out to an office building in the area that's under parked 
and see if they want to rent some of your parking spaces. Reach out to dealerships, car dealerships in the area. See if they need, they need help with parking. So you've got all these alternatives for your parking lot. Make sure you utilize them. Um, there's a really cool concept that I, I quickly ran across. So you want to do a little work on this yourself called Naked Retail in New York. And this company is very unique. It's really cool what, uh, what they do is they have the location. They find uh, young re retailers that are um, wanting a place to go. So they bring them in. And they, all these retailers have synergy. So you come into one location, and all of these retailers all kind of fit together. So yoga mats, uh, workout clothes, all that would kind of gel together. Um, and they're working with them on the, the marketing on the staffing, they're working on all of that. So create that one dynamic where they can come in, launch their product, and build it from there. And maybe if one of them does take off, they can move into another location you have next door or you know a few doors down, whatever. It's just you've got to reach out to these people and see, get creative with them. So um, another thing that I saw that I thought was really cool over the weekend, there was a retailer. It was a baby uh, manufacturer. They had all kinds of baby products, and they created a... Um, you come into their regular retail space, they lease the space next door and they created a hidden room, hidden door. And so you went in and it was kind of a game to get you to find the hidden door so you could go into the space next door. It was a small space, but, and again, they had a retailer that was, or an interior designer that really fixed that space up. So it was probably, you don't want to go that detailed, but it was just beautiful what they did. They made a, a very great experience to go in there and that drove traffic. There's waiting lines for people to get in, find the hidden door, go in, and then go out. Uh, and, but, and it drove good sales numbers. So um, escape rooms are something that you can take a look at. Uh, if you have a big mall, they're doing indoor golf. They're doing tracks for drones to be flying around. Um, all these obstacle course ideas that they're doing in these enclosed malls. So it's just, it's a way of generating revenue. But whatever you find, you want to make sure that this tenant, potential tenant, has strong enough financials to meet your needs and they have a very strong online presence. Make sure that they they are working their online. If not, maybe you can give some guidance or have them reach out to somebody you know that can give them guidance to get them picked up online because, you know, the pandemic could come back and, you know, it might be spiked, I doubt, to this degree, let's hope, um, but you want to be prepared for it. So. Um, it's just, those are some ideas. I hope this does help. If you have any questions, please do reach out. I'll try and help you through the process. I just want to try and help you guys get your retail spaces leased out. Um, and again, if you like what you hear today, uh, please do give us a subscribe. And I think the next couple videos, maybe not the next one because we've already got it done, but we're going to talk about leases because uh, the pandemic has created some differences in leases and what you need to expect going down the road. So do subscribe, tune back in, and I'll see you next week.